Back in 1972, in the Arkansas River near Muskogee, an engineering feat probably caused more than a few double takes when this World War II submarine, the retired USS Batfish, cradled by six barges, made its way up from the Gulf to its new home. First thing they did, we got it in here, they dammed that up and they started pushing all that dirt back in and that raised the submarine up. And there may be no better tour guides of the Batfish than Willard, Bat Battenfield, Jack Campbell, and Roby Simpson, all World War II veterans on other subs. They test you for claustrophobia and they put you in a pressure tank. And about eight or ten fellows in there at a time, they build the pressure up to 50 pounds. These were just a few of the tests young sailors had to pass before they were sent out on a sub. Psychological exams were important too, you'll see why. And remember, this isn't the movies. It brings back the old familiar smell when you come down here. <laughs> Their memories come flooding back once they re-enter those close quarters. Can you imagine being confined in this tight space for 60 to 70 days at a time? Jack and Bat were both torpedo men. They remember what it was like to fire and then wait for the unmistakable sound and feel of a hit. This is the yeoman's office right here. You see how big office he had. <laughs> no wasted space anywhere, especially not the walkway. And if these are the officer's quarters, you can only imagine what the crew's quarters look like. This is where all, everything takes place when you're diving just about. This must have been the site of some tense moments. Here's what we, we always got our messages here and sent out messages when we translate, you know. Tra the galley. Bat says the chow was good and one of the reasons he signed on. You lose your appetite. But every sub did come with its own soft serve ice cream machine. Instead of saying what we're going to have for dessert, uh, they, they'd say what are we going to have for ice cream tonight. <laughs> we had it every night. And these are the bunks. Boy, you wouldn't want the bottom bunk. You'd really have to like the rest of the crew. Basically, Submariners was a close-knit organization. We, even today, we feel the same way. The USS Batfish is an attraction in Muskogee's War Memorial Park. Well, the biggest thing it's noted for, it sank three Japanese submarines in 76 hours, which uh, you don't hardly ever see one. They got three of them. And these three gentlemen have dedicated much of their time, their influence, and their personal attention to making this memorial park first class. To remember all these guys went down on these things. Because every one of those submarines, there's about 80 to 85 young men at our age, 18 to 19, 20 years old. And For the men who were there, who shared the tragedies and triumphs of World War II, but who came home to their families, this memorial is especially meaningful. These markers that stand at attention on Oklahoma soil honor the young submariners of World War II, those who remain forever on patrol.